Good morning, Instagram. Michael Booth here from Booth Training. Um, I'm here today to take you through one of my workouts that I would do in the mornings when I wake up. It's 8 a.m. here in Perth, so we are live. Um, so we're doing this for um, all you guys. It's, it's a reasonably easy workout to follow. We're gonna start with a five minute workout, a uh, five minute warm up. So we're gonna do a little bit of uh, ballistic dynamic stretching. Um, so we're gonna give you a little bit of time to get set up. If you wanna get involved, there's no real equipment needed. All you need is a chair or a bench, which will help you sort of jump onto it or be able to do dips from. So uh, if you wanna get your equipment to get ready, I'll give you a little bit of time while we get through this warm up, and then we're gonna get started. So. Um, we're gonna start with a little bit of ballistic dynamic stretching and then we're gonna get going. So just to give you an idea, this type of um, stretching routine is what I would normally do before I start racing. So before I get on the water um, in any of the APP World Tour races, distance races, you'll see me swinging my arms around, swinging my legs around, all those things. So I'm actually gonna take you through that now and then we're gonna move into our session. So let's start. So first off, I always start swinging my arms around. So you do 10 on the right. And then we're gonna turn around, do 10 on the left. And then we'll swing backwards. Same thing. Just gotta try and limber up. You always need to warm up before you start any exercise. Um, you gotta really, especially as you're getting older. I know now that I'm sort of nearly 30. Uh, I've got to be a little bit care more careful with how I warm up and how I get ready to perform my routines. Um, otherwise I can sort of do a little damage and, and tears and that sort of stuff. So, starting with this with arm swing back and forward. Now swing side to side. Now this one really warms up the, the lower back, um, all your back muscles, your abs, and everything like that. So you really got to just get that rotation going and get those small muscles moving before you start, start working out. You don't want to tear anything. You don't want to have injuries unnecessarily. And then we swing and swing out the top of the head. So this is like really loosening up those lats and really just engaging in good movement, just going all the way through that range of motion and allowing ourselves to limber up and start feeling good. And then we're gonna bring that swing all the way through. So we're gonna start swinging side to side. So we're gonna be going just past our toes and actually starting to really work our lower back start to loosen that up now. We're also going to start pulsing, we're going to pulse from the centre, move around to the left, then move around to the right, and do that about three or four times. You should be feeling it through your lower back and your hamstrings. And this will be really good for us today because we're going to do a bit of a cardio session, which is going to get us working, but also a bit of core as well. And then just a few quick deep squats, so really getting down to the bottom, Coming back up, go down to the bottom, coming back up. So just making sure that we're really stretching out through our hamstrings because we are going to do a little bit of dynamic movement, I guess, uh, when we are getting started. So, so this session today, we're actually going to start um, slower, slower, and then we're going to move into it. But we're going to finish our one first. So the last two things are actually swinging your leg forward. So right leg forward, and back all the way through. And do six of those, and change the other side. And just really swing it all the way through your range of motion and getting yourself moving. So you should be starting to get your heart rate up now. Your heart rate should be around 100, 120 before we get into this main set. And we're gonna swing side to side as well, so. For those who don't have time to work out right now, I will be sharing this, uh, don't fall over. I will be sharing this on uh, Facebook later on, so you guys can join in. So it's just a good, so a 20 minute-ish workout. I've made this just for Instagram here today, so there's gonna be plenty to do. Now what I wanna do now is work, walk you through the actual exercise we're gonna do. So we're gonna do three exercises with 30 seconds rest. We're gonna do four sets of that. The orange texture probably didn't work as well as I probably would have liked, but we're living in Malaysia. We actually the first time done a live stream for, uh, for a workout. So the first set, we're gonna do 30 step ups. So we're gonna do um, 15 on the left, 15 on the right. You can either do them um, changing or you can do them as 15 on the left, 15 on the right. So you can do that how you like. Then we're gonna straight 10 dips and then straight 30 sit ups. 
then we're gonna have 30 seconds rest. So I'm gonna start my watch. So if anyone wants to start their watch with me, get it ready. So starting my watch in three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna actually start the set on the first minute. So if anyone wants to join in, we've got a minute till we start the set, start the workout. And then we're gonna do that set four times. So we're gonna go through that, it should take us about eight minutes. And then we're gonna have a little bit extra rest. We'll probably have an extra minute rest after that set. And then we're gonna go into our next set. So these, these sets are gonna gradually get harder. So there's three sets. The first set's easier, then it's sort of medium, and then harder. The second set, we're gonna do high knees for a minute, 20 push-ups, and one minute single leg, single arm, changing after 30 seconds. So same thing, do those three exercises four times uh, with 30 seconds rest in between the set. We'll have an extra minute again after we do those four sets. And then we're gonna be moving into 10 burpee to jump squat, 10 single leg bridge lift. So we're gonna do them each side. So obviously 10 on the left, 10 on the right. And then 30 second crunch, all right, with ankle touch. So what we're gonna do doing it on that one, for those who don't know that one, is actually touching here. Okay, so I missed my minute because I talk too much. I'll actually just give you a run through the exercise we're doing this first set and then we can get started on the second minute. So step ups. Starting on the left, and then change, right, give that idea, and then 10 dips, so just arms um, just wide and short width apart, coming all the way down, just sort of 90 degrees, and then coming back up, and then, well everyone knows what sit-ups are, so I don't need to run you through that one. Uh, if you want to get ready and get started, I'm going to get started in 20 seconds, so if you want to join in, this is live. I am winging it. I, I, wrote, I wrote a session just for Instagram this morning, so hopefully you guys are getting involved. Um, if you wanted to find out any more of my booth training, uh, check out www.michael-booth.com.au forward slash training by Boothy. Um, it'd be perfect for you guys at this time. So we're gonna start right now. So starting with 30 step ups. Straight the dips. So and then straight into sit ups. So all the way up. Twenty two, twenty three. All right, thirty. So we're gonna have thirty seconds rest from now. So what you'll be noticing with these workouts, we're going heavy legs, then straight to upper body, and then straight to core. So we're really working those different parts of your um, stroke that you're working on when you're paddling stuff. Because obviously, when you're doing stuff, you're working your legs, with the upper body and you're working your core. So you really need to break in these sessions down to what's similar to paddling. Get started in 10 seconds. Okay, we'll start straight back up with the step ups. Not much rest. 
similar to what we're doing when we're on the water. We barely get any rest, so it's all about getting that heart rate level high so it can always start like an endurance session as well and not just a, a core workout. So if you're doing this just on a whoop, I should talk when I'm uh, trying to do exercise. But all you need to do this is just a chair. Do them as quick as you can. Just keep that heart rate level up and working those big muscles in your collars and in your hamstrings. Keep them nice and tight through your lower core. Just making sure you're breathing in and out, taking in that oxygen. But it might feel easy now, as these sets get, as we keep going through these sets, it's going to uh, really be working this hard. So I'm going to build it with this set. And you're going to feel really sore afterwards, that's good. Alright, straight the dips. No rest. Trying to get sweat on here. It's uh, probably 25, 28 degrees here in Perth. I don't know, probably that's like 75, 80. To my American friends. About 10. Straight the sit-ups again. So in the second set, you can see how it's starting to go up. So work is hard. It's already starting to hurt. Hopefully you guys are following along at home. If you're not, there's plenty of sets to go, so feel free to join in. I've got two more of these sets, and then I've got two different types of sets after that, so plenty of work out to come. I'm probably gonna go for like at least another 20 minutes, so if you wanna join in, please do. All right, we're gonna get started with this next one. Go straight back into those step ups. Straight sit ups.
All right, another 30 seconds off, and then we get straight back into that last set. And then we're gonna move on to that harder set next one. Keep focus, get some water if you need it. All right, let's go. Ready? Try those dips. Straight away, sit up, finish off. Last sit up to the set. Fifteen, halfway. All right, that's first set done. Ha, that's good. Ah, oh, James Casey. Yeah, I'm rocking the uh, Hover by Under Armour. Uh, they sent me through yesterday. I got some new shorts. Couldn't wear the shirt though, because I've got to wrap the sponsors. But yeah, Hover Under Armour. Check them out. They're, uh, they're actually Bluetooth compatible. They actually match up with that Under Armour um, app. So you can actually like track your run. Remember, map my run. They actually have Bluetooth chips inside them, so you don't even need to watch. It gives you feedback through the, uh, the app on your phone. So it's, it's pretty bloody cool. Um, all right, so we have now 40 seconds rest. Then we're gonna do a different set. So if, you, if you're just tuning in now, the next set is, we're gonna do one minute of high knees, which is just so hard. So you're gonna really enjoy that one, like lung buster, but you're gonna get you going. Um, thanks, Jimmy. Um, second, we're gonna do 20 push-ups. Then we're gonna do one minute plank, single arm, single leg. So just for those who don't know that one, you should be here, so left arm, right arm. Do that for 30 seconds, and we'll change and do that for 30 seconds. Push up, self explanatory, don't go too wide because you're gonna cause those injuries, keep them sort of low, but not, not so much tricep push ups, but just a little bit wide. And the high knees you'll enjoy. So let's get going. Let's get off the mat. So we're gonna do a minute of this. Try and just push those knees as high as you can. Get the bouncing off the feet, the pull of the foot. Expect to get tired in about 40 seconds, but you make sure you're pushing through. Use your arms, you wanna try and get them up same as when you're running. I won't go there, so I anymore. Drop. 
Straighten that plank. I'll start five seconds just to make it easy for my watch. Ready? Okay. 30 seconds. Left leg, right arm. Really try and stay control through that core. Don't let your back dip. Don't let your back arch. Keeping strong. Really engaging through the groin muscles, through the hips, and through the lower core. Okay, changing. So this set's really good. We get the heart rate really high at the start of the set. We start engaging more of the muscles through the push-ups. And that's sort of like an active recovery through this single leg, single arm. Not that it's not hard, but it gives you a little bit of time to get that heart rate back down. And then we're gonna spike it back up in 30 seconds. So it's uh it's really good. So yeah, just thinking about pushing through that first minute, getting that heart rate high, working the muscles, working the core. So really just pushing through that, making sure that we're sort of simulating what we're doing in the stand-up paddling. We're working really hard, obviously. Um, when we're doing stand-up, we're using total body activities. We get the heart rate going, we get the heart in the mouth, we want to replicate that in our training, making sure that we're not just doing core exercise when we're at home. We're actually trying to integrate a bit of cardio. It's going to rec replicate that race situation. So, minute again. Straight back into that core. Start five, like we did last time. There we go. So really thinking about that hip joint. That's something really important when we're paddling our stand ups. Hope we forget about that. That's what center, center um, core element to their training. We really gotta be engaging with our hips and lower abs at all times. You'll actually notice that on my right hand side I have an imbalance so I actually have to work a lot harder on this side than I do on my left. Change. So really taking in those deep breaths through this one. In and out. Try and get that heart rate back down. You notice that I'm starting to get tired and that's a good thing. Especially those one minutes. We're gonna push through, we're gonna get slower. We wanna maintain our form as best as we can because that's gonna really stimulate what we're doing on the stuff. Especially when we're towards the end of those races, stop. We're gonna be getting really tired, so you're gonna be thinking about keeping your form all the way through these exercises. Um, this might be a little bit extreme for some people. Um, if you're following along, just drop your reps. Maybe do 30 seconds of the high knees, have 30 seconds off, do 10 push ups. And you can probably still do the minute core thing. 
If you can't, always just drop it down a little bit, do a less set, and then you can sort of build up to this and maybe do six sets, you know? Like you can always make little changes. So, I'm in it again. This high knee stuff is really good for anybody in, in quarantine, especially those locked inside their apartments. You can really replicate that high intensity running without going anywhere. My breathing's not too loud. <laughs> I was starting to hear myself. <sighs> Try those 20 push ups. <sighs> okay, here that call. Have five seconds again. Do a little bit quicker that time. So, second last set with this one, I'm gonna get an extra minute. So, really push through this next one minute, high knees. Ask how you're gonna do this session. But as I said, the easy set at the start, the medium set, and the hard set at the end. Again, replicating racing. I'm not to be able to talk as much. It's probably a good thing. Okay, last set. Have another 30 seconds rest. We're gonna jump into this next one. It's getting a bit warm here in, in Perth now. Pretty starting up towards the 30s. It's been a really hot week. Whew. Okay, last line needs to make a good one. You're driving up through your heels and using those arms to get yourself up. So obviously right left, right arm, left leg, left leg, right leg. Let's go. This one push those knees up in this last 30. You'll start hurting, especially with your calves. Your knees will start to failure. 10. Another mat push ups. <sighs> That's twenty. Go straight into it. I can't think of the one. That's it. Try and hold your form, you see I'm failing now. It's starting to burn a little bit. Nearly two thirds of the way through the session. Whoever's got this far, good job. Whew. 
down, change. I just realized it's a bit longer than I thought it was going to be today. I think I said 20 minute session, sorry about 25, so that's what happens when you build a session for social media. You want to be working that extra bit hard. Alright, last five seconds. Alright, done. So an extra extra minute. We're really starting back, doing something a little bit different. So a minute and a half rest now. We're gonna be moving into finish set. It's a little bit harder. Again, we're gonna 10 burpee to jump squat. So basically what we're doing, um, doing the burpee, jumping up onto the bench, jumping down, back into the burpee. So we're doing 10 of those. Um, who's online? Hello Greg, hello Paul, Paige. Valenzuela. Cheers guys, just tuning in. Another minute. Greg, get under it. Another set to go. Get those burpees and jump squats going. I know you've been stuck paddling over there on the Gold Coast, so it's been great to see. But you now you need to do a couple of these sessions to get you fit and strong. So 10 burpees and jump squat, 10 single leg bridge leap, we'll come back over here and do that. And 30 seconds crunch with the ankle touches. So same theme, legs, upper body, core. But you gotta expect this one to hurt a little bit more. It's uh, the last set. Let's move this board a little bit. So I make a mistake. But jumping up, so it's just up. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do 10 of them. Let's go. Stand is pretty hard. Strength single leg bridge lift. Hit that working hard. So. Okay, to the right. Crunch with ankle touches. So holding here. Three seconds. That's 30 and 30 seconds rest. Should start to really feel it in your mouth now. Should be wanting to vomit up your breakfast or your dinner or your lunch time or whatever it is over where you are. I haven't even eaten yet, I think I'm vomiting up last night's dinner. Just be really mindful on these. Don't, you can't go all the way through the motion. Stop through each phase. You'll see that I'll do that as I get tired. Just don't want you face painting into the wall if you can help it. So back into it. Then, whew, you should be hurting. If you're not, 
Let's start going with you. Hand crunch. That's thirty. Ah, it's been good. <sighs> Greg's having cross buns. Franco, thanks for joining in. <laughs> Daniel JJ from WA, having a copy of his sister's doing it. Mate, what are you doing? Get off your ass. <laughs> Alright, straight back into it, guys. 10 seconds. <sighs> Trying to suck in those big ones in between the sets. Get that heart rate back down. Again, be careful on this one. Let's go. Straight into the bridge list. Actually, thanks to my, uh, my train members for letting me know that these aren't bum lifts, they're actually bridge lifts. But I definitely was calling it bum lifts for a long time and got a lot of uh, confused questions. <laughs> Alright, 30, one set to go, bit of a rest, stretch and finish. If you got this far, you're an absolute legend. That's real pain, people, I'm hurting. You should be too. Five seconds. Let's go. Nearly done. Let's get this finished. Last 30. Okay, that's right, sparing the works. Like happens in races, keep going to stop. So here's 30 seconds now. We really try and push through. Should 
should be hurting your pec minors, the upper abs and lower abs through your hips. And you should be struggling to breathe a little bit as well. Because you can't, because that chest is contracting to hold yourself up. You've got to be really stinging through your chest and try to suck that big breath in. It's going to hurt. Make sure if you stop touching your ankles, that's it, you're done. Keep pushing. So, over a minute now. Keep going. I missed two. If you catch yourself missing three in a row, you're done. Starting to slow down now. I missed one. Keep going. That left side's really hurting. You'll really work out where you're strong and where you're not in these type of sets. See, the right hand side's still grabbing, which is where I'm strong. My left hand side, I barely get my fingertips to it. Keep pushing through. Another two minutes. Alright, that'll do. I missed too many. Oh. Oh, thanks for following, guys. AV, hey, stoked at you signing in. Daniel, either get to work or get training. It's not acceptable. Hands are supposed to be. Bludging. And stop bludging. Yeah, I thought you were bulking. I didn't know what was going on. Now, I really appreciate everyone who signed in today, made comments. Uh, if you've got any questions for me, you'd like to talk about in training, now's your opportunity. I'll probably stay online for another 10 minutes. Now I've got something on at 9 o'clock. So uh, if you've got anything else to, to add, to ask questions, um, thanks for joining for that session. We're going to do a little bit of stretching now as well to loosen up, but I'll be able to answer any of your questions. Uh, while we're, while we're working out. Thanks Andrew for doing it, so stoked you joined in. Um, I'll be posting this up on my Facebook page I think as well, I believe I can save this video so you'll be able to do it at a later date. Just remembering your training, there's a lot of stuff out there that can, can help you and there's a lot of free stuff out there as well but just make sure that you're making yourself accountable, like just because you're reading a, a free workout doesn't mean you're going to get up every morning and do it, make yourself accountable to yourself, to your friends, to your coach, whoever that might be and that'll keep you fit through this period, we're all going to have obviously good and bad days when we're, when we're working out or when we're going to work or we're just sitting home in isolation, especially our friends around the world who cannot go outside anymore and then can go to grocery stores. It's just really important that you stay positive. We will get through this, we will be stronger after this. We may miss a few races, we may miss a little bit of a normality in our time, but we'll look back at this as a really cool defining moment where we linked up with our friends, we thought about the things we loved a little bit more and we were able just to just take a step back and take a deep breath and realise life's not too serious. We just have to keep trudging on and keep moving forward and we're going to get those successes no matter which way we look at it. So, to start with the groin stretch, we're going to a little bit of the, uh, the lower body stuff. Obviously working those, those hamstrings and those groin muscles pretty hard, um, especially when we're doing those jump squats and um, all the rest of the stuff that we're doing, high knees. Um, just really just sort of spending 30 seconds on each one of these stretches, probably do 10 stretches. And these are sort of like the main ones I usually go through when I finish my sessions. And it's all about, stretching's not necessarily like especially static stretching is not necessarily about um, this session because you're still going to feel warm and loose for the next half an hour, an hour, you're going to feel awesome but um, this is more about tomorrow and the next day and the next sessions that you do, you've got to make sure you're staying limber, staying fresh, staying solid and uh, not, not hurting too much because that's when you can cause injury. So all about prehabilitation when you finish your session and making sure that we're not going to get injured. So just changing, go up to that glute stretch, everyone, everyone knows it. It's just really pushing into that, getting your ass down. Um, yeah, so if you're online, definitely see you guys are online, I think, at the moment. I can't really tell. My eyes aren't that good. But yeah, ask me some questions. You've got me for 10 minutes, so use it. I'm sure that you guys have got some questions out there about, I don't know, the workout or what I do on the water or what I'm trying to do to stay, stay positive and re relative at the moment. Um, so yeah. Send it out. That was my first live stream I've ever done for a workout. So for those guys who joined in, thanks for joining in. That's my first ever live stream. So you, you've done a first with me, which is pretty cool. If you'd like to see any sort of uh, workouts like this uh, in the future, just let me know. Um, send me some cool messages, what you'd like to see, and we can sort of make start, start making stuff happen. I know there's a lot of people out there doing it, and um, if people wanted to see it from me, let me know. If you want to find out anything else about 
um, my training plan, my training programs, any of those things. Um, you can always check out uh, Booth Training or, on Facebook and Instagram. And my website currently is michael-booth.com.au forward slash training by Boothie. Um, but that will be changing very soon, so doing some uh, big updates and all that sort of stuff. Um, adding in a lot of cool new things and um, new features that people can sign in with. Uh, it's going to be a cool time. I'm getting a lot more time at the moment, definitely, to, to work on things I don't normally have the time to do. So, just staying back, pull your hip, uh, pull your knee into your, to your guts and really getting through that hamstring, stretching out. Just, uh, you really, should be really feeling it through here. Just gradually getting that heart rate down. Just relaxing into the floor as well. Don't fall asleep. I know you guys in America, it's really late over there. Wait till you get to bed, have a shower. Don't feel good when you go to bed. Makes a big difference. <laughs> Brush your teeth, like your mum told you to do. Swap legs on your left. Oh, I'm exhausted. I think I nearly fell asleep then. Um, just crossing the body, just stretching out that back. Change the other side. This is the most important part of your session, people. People tend to forget this five minute cool down. Being important to even getting you stretching, get into a nice walk, something like that to really just flush yourself. Flush that lactate, flush that, all that bad stuff out of your body. Whew. Just stretching through the back now. Thanks, Jimmy. You too, mate. Um, just really trying to stretch through those shoulder blades, stretch it through that back. A lot of paddling injuries, definitely for myself, come from my lats and my shoulder blades, my upper trap, all those different things. Just making sure that we're making sure we're working through those those sections, and we're going to be able to get through. I know I spoke to Simon from Stoke Physio a lot about this stuff, that rehabilitation. If you want to check out that conversation on. Um, on Facebook, I think there's a section in um, my group called Boothcast. Um, if you don't know, I set up a, a podcast called Boothcast. I'm chatting to all uh, inspiring people across uh, water sports, business, um, and all those different places, just having conversations. So go check that out. Check out uh, Boothcast on any of the podcast channels, Facebook, Instagram. Oh, sorry, Facebook, Instagram. That's where the videos actually are, if you want to check those out. But if you want to check out the podcast, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, all that good stuff. Um, I'm just going to stretch out the abs. What's this one called? Cat stretch? Correct me if I'm wrong. I tend to make mistakes on these. I, uh, I'm pretty good at uh, working out what to do, but geez, the names always um, seem to fail me. I think it's ought to be in person as well. I always remember a face, but I always struggle to remember a name. So uh, to this one, we'll move into pretty sure it's down with dog. Just start stretching out the calves. We're going to be hurting that little bit in the lower back. Just making yourself feel nice and limber. I'll just do that, come down into that. And again, just one more time, and we're going to be finishing up the set. So, once again, really appreciating everybody who signed in today um, and done this with me. It's sort of nice to be able to connect to the AKP community and all my friends out there in the world who are paddling and struggling and trying to do different stuff. So, really appreciate uh, all your support. I think it was the Cobra, from what I'm being told now. Um, all the best for the upcoming months. If you want to see more of this, let me know. Um, DM me on, on Facebook or Instagram or any of those places. Um, I'm pretty accessible, I'm pretty approachable. So I'll see you guys soon and keep working hard, keep getting through this, uh, this tough period and we'll get through it together. Cheers guys. And thanks to APP for getting me on. Uh, how do I end this? Cheers guys.